So up until a few months ago, I had a problem. I had all these symbols, these aren't all the symbols, but I had all these symbols and I didn't have anywhere to really to really put them. The, uh, the current solution was to just store them in this gig bag and that flight case. Like just that, that was the solution, just store everything in these cases. The problem with that is if I wanted to do anything on the drum set and I wanted to switch cymbals out quickly, that wasn't so easy. And it got to the point where I just, I didn't ever switch cymbals out for sessions because I didn't want to go through the hassle of, uh, of having to dig through these two things. I needed to find a solution to where I could grab cymbals easily and fast, but also like wasn't crazy expensive. And I came up with this. It's this, uh, this Amazon Basics guitar stand. And basically all I do is I take the cymbals and I just put them, I just put them in the guitar stand like so, leaning them against each other. And that way, if I need to grab anything, I can just come in, I, I keep this in my closet, but that way all I have to do is walk into my closet and kind of go through my cymbals and just pick up the one that I want and go put it on the drum set. I think I got the the thing on Amazon for like under like 20 bucks, which it was super cheap, super affordable. And honestly, if uh, if it ever breaks, then I'm I'm not too concerned because it's it's 20 bucks. Like it's not bad. Another nice thing I didn't expect when I got this is it actually keeps your symbols like protected too. There's there's foam right here, and there's actually foam right there, and it basically basically keeps your symbols from, from getting scratched and, and anything else from, uh, from metal or, or whatever, so it's good. If you're uh, trying to figure out a solution to store symbols and you honestly don't know what to do, I suggest that. It, uh, it works for me and it's low profile, stays out of the way, and it's super, the, the biggest thing is it's super easy to just grab what I need and keep going. One of my pet peeves is when I'm in the middle of creating something, a lot of times when you're creating things, it's it can be difficult to get into a flow, and once you finally get into like a flow, you don't want to, the last thing you want to do is, is to stop that and have to like search for something. And for me, my studio should serve in a way that prevents as little friction as I possibly can from me starting a project to me finishing, finishing a project. And if it's something as silly as not having to dig into a gig bag or a flight case, for a specific symbol, then I'm all for it. That's another reason why I have the snares that I use the most on this little cart right there. Purely for the same exact reason. That way, if I if I need to grab a different drum because it's not working for a session, I can walk over like, what, 10 feet and grab it. Then like a matter of seconds, I'm all good, switched out the drum and I'm off to the races. I can keep creating and keep pushing through whatever thing that I'm, I'm working on. That's, that's basically it. I'll put a link down below for that, that guitar stand. It's great, honestly. I, uh, okay. Now that I, I recorded that whole thing, I have to actually put my cymbals back, back in my closet. And I have a bunch of stuff on the other side of that door that was in my closet, just purely for the video. I tried carrying this thing with all the cymbals on it and it was just way too heavy. So it's just, it's easier just to take them off. Remember in yesterday's video when I talked about leaving this guy just on the floor and making this closet just basically feel like a mess? Well, that this was actually one of the things that I took out there so that this looked cleaner and now the uh, <laughs> the closet's right back to where it was with it looking like a mess. I love switching between the this Acrylite and the Black Beauty that much. Like, I'm not kidding about that. So in the spirit of, of talking about symbols, I figured I would kind of answer a question I get kind of, kind of frequently. And I just, I don't know really how to explain it without making like this part of a video. The, uh, the question is, uh, why do you have so many, why do you have so many symbols? Like, don't you just need like crash, ride, and hi-hats? Like, why do you have way more? And I feel like that kind of, the, the answer is going to be similar, but a little bit different to the answer of why do I have so many drums? Like, all of those, that kit. 
And, and the quick, easy answer is really just as you play or if you play, the longer you play, you just accumulate more things because different things come out and your changes and your tastes and your style of playing changes over time. And that requires different types of, uh, different types of instruments and different types of, uh, of sounds that you need. And with, with drums, it's, this isn't as like, as serious, like you can get a lot of different sounds from like a drum if you know how to tune it correctly and you know what kind of heads produce what kinds of sounds. But cymbals, it's basically you get that cymbal and that's all you get. Like there's not much you can do outside of like putting gaff tape on the cymbals or or anything like that. But again, that doesn't really change the sonic sound of the cymbal. It's not like changing the tuning of a drum. So for me, the answer to that on why do I have so many cymbals is purely because I do a bunch of different styles of music and to enable myself to best serve the song and best serve whoever I'm working for, I need to have a wide variety of options to give me different sounds for a specific project. So for example, this ride cymbal, super washy, you can totally crash on it and everything else. It's amazing for worship stuff. For country stuff, I wouldn't use it. I would use my dry ride or a thicker ride that has more of a ping and just it sounds more country versus that one sounding washy and crashy. And it works great for worship, but doesn't work great for country. Or, or the difference between my, my 16 inch light hi-hats that sound, sound good but they do not sound like my 13 inch Sabian hi-hats. They're both great tools, but they accomplish different different sounds and different goals. Ugh. Also, uh, I forgot that I taped this this symbol to the top of a stack, stack I made, like a homemade clap stack, and it took me a minute to get the tape off because it's been like six months. So basically, just to answer the, the question quickly, the reason I have so many different symbols and the reason that I need different storage solutions for said symbols is because they all produce different sounds and they produce different vibes, and when you're making things or playing for a bunch of different things, you need options. That's not just a genre specific thing, that's also like a, a stylistic -like thing. Like I played a, a worship song not too long ago that uh, I tried using the 16 inch hi-hats and they weren't doing it. They were, they were too big and too clunky and they were kind of just getting lost in the mix and that's where I had to pull out these guys where they they cut through the mix just enough and what I needed to do, I couldn't crash on them or do the same thing that I do the same thing I normally would do with these guys, but for the song, these were way better than, than these. So that's why I have a bunch of cymbals and a bunch of drums. I hope that makes sense. All right, it's right, it's been a couple hours. We actually had to go pick up Max from uh, from the vet because he had some, some stuff done. And I've kind of had to be on, uh, be on cat detail because he's not allowed to eat a ton of food for like the rest of tonight and then tomorrow we can like go back on his regular uh, like regiment. But he doesn't do very well when he's hungry. He like, <laughs> he starts grunting and uh, What are you doing? You can't sit on that, you have to get off. Thank you. So the past couple hours I've spent downstairs be because of that. But I came up here really quick just to grab a couple things and put a couple things away like this hard drive and, and stuff like that just cause trying to keep my stuff, my work stuff up here and the rest of like the living stuff down in the, the living space. All right, it's a, uh, it's seven o'clock now and I think I'm actually gonna call it a night. I've been trying to stop a little bit sooner. I've been trying to like have a hard cutoff at a certain point and I'm actually beyond that right now. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna stop working. I'm gonna leave this up here and I will see you guys tomorrow. I gotta go, uh, gotta go cat sit now. <laughs>